And these are our 15 Mega Minxes. Oh boy. Hello, Ting Man fam! Today we are going to be unboxing every single Mega Minx I could get my hands on and reviewing them so that we can rank them in the world's first ever real life tier list! Ta da! This is real, by the way. We spent a long time putting it together, yes, cutting out all the letters. Totally real. And of course, assisting us today with the real life tier list is none other than Ting Boy! Uh, what is it? Is there a Let's move all these aside. Before we unbox them all, a huge thank you to Daily Puzzles for providing all these Mega Minxes. And don't forget to use code ORLOR. Code TINGMAN. ORLOR. TINGMAN. Code TINGMAN. 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 Now you know how annoying it feels when you always interrupt. Code ORLOR. If you do keep on arguing, just choose code TINGBOY. There's no code TINGBOY. Don't forget to subscribe to Tingle and Ola. This right here is the MFJS Mailong Mega Minx. So this is the stickerless version, and this is a sticker version that's actually like a carbon fiber version, which is really interesting. Ooh, this is a really cool looking puzzle. So it's not magnetic, uh, but it's pretty cheap, and I don't know. Doesn't really have great corner cutting to me. Actually, it just doesn't have great corner cutting at all. Zero corner cutting. Tell you what though, it looks really, really cool. Um, especially mine. Like, I really, really like the carbon fiber. Like, this angle of it looks really, really cool. Pink, green, blue. I mean, that looks so, so cool together with the, with the black. And as far as the ridges go, they're, like, they're not too bad. Not too slippery. But I probably wouldn't give it the hidden F. <laughs> Hopefully you don't have to give too many Mega Mixes the F tier. Let's see what Ting Boy thinks. Ooh, luck box. Give both an eye pass for the soldiers class. Okay, all of this like which two you're gonna give it and we'll say it out loud at the same time. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. E. e. <laughs> wow, we did not discuss this at all. Seriously. Uh, I didn't really think about how we're gonna put the Mega Minxes there. I don't know. <laughs> so our very first Mega Minx unfortunately gets an E rating, but hey, you can only go up from here. Okay, next let's do uh, the Shengshou Gem. Oh, hey. why do you think they call it the Gem? <laughs> that is not a good sign. Here it is. Texture. The Shengshou Gem Cubes all have a really like characteristic feel. They all have a bit of a scratchy looking texture to them, but they don't feel scratchy. They actually do feel smooth. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So nothing else included in the box. The first thing I noticed is how slippery it is. It's actually really weird to see a Mega Minx with like no ridges or anything compared to this where there were just so many like bumps and grooves, which are usually meant to like help you with when turning and everything. Corner cutting refers to how well a puzzle can turn even if the layers aren't completely aligned. The Melong did not corner cut at all, but this guy can corner cut a very, very slight amount. Not a lot, but a little. As far as it being a gem goes, I mean, I guess it's a bit shiny. <laughs> okay, I think I've got a letter. Here we go. Three, two, one. C. Ooh, okay. I also have torn between C and D. Me too. Let's... I know. But yeah. Hey! See, if we were doing this digitally, you wouldn't be allowed to do an in-between. But since we're doing it live in person, we can do whatever we want. Here you go, Ting Boy. Please stick this in between C and D. That looks really funny. Next. Ooh, this is the Cyclone Boys. Literally, it says Shaolin like Popey. This dude's holding the cube with just like two fingers. He's like... Uh, let's see what it's like. Ooh, interesting colors. Very, very shiny. Super compared shiny. Compared to the other ones. Yeah, the corners all it's have like even, a little ridge. It's even more gemmy than the gem. It is not a magnetic Mega Minx either, but it's not bad. They're much more like vivid colors yeah, like in this one. Yeah, like bright, popping out Yeah, here. much more bright, poppy out right. colors. I can see myself actually solving this thing and not, you know, hating it. <laughs> here we go. Three, two, one. C. B. Ooh, okay. Well, there it is. We'll put this in between B and C. Make sure the guys are We're gonna continue with the Yusin Little Magic. This guy just came out, I believe, in 2020. Nope, it is not magnetic. <laughs> the Yusin Little Magic is super cheap. It is like one of the cheapest Mega Minxes you can get. Ola, does it feel like it's cheap or does it feel like it has quality? Um, second option. Wow, that's great. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it actually looks a bit cheap, but otherwise, it actually doesn't feel too bad. So this one provides grip in a very different way from how the Cyclone Boys did. This one has like indentations in the corner and this one has ridges all along the side. So you can just sort of like grab the ridges. And personally, I think I prefer the ridges. But you know, this one's not too bad either. I prefer the indentations. Oh yeah. 
It definitely feels nicer on the fingers when the, it, when the ridges aren't there. You got your letter? Yep. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. D. Whoa. That's a bit of a difference. I don't like this. But Ola seems to not mind it too much. Ola is giving this a B and I'm giving this a D. So I guess it's averaging to a straight C. Next up, our very first magnetic Mega Minx. This is the YJ um, Yufu, I think. Or maybe the Yuhu. 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 Big summer blowout. Oh, magnets are so nice. The whole star in a circle thing is a little bit like, oh boy. It seems to turn a bit weirdly. Ola doesn't seem to be a big fan. My turn to have a go. <gasps> it's wonderful. Why don't you like it? To nope. Out of the box, it's maybe a little bit loose, like it's maybe turning a little bit too fast, but it is such a welcome relief after doing those really, really stiff Mega Minxes that had no magnets. I actually feel like I need to give it a solve before I can decide what I'm gonna give it. You know what? Let's unbox another one and then we can both like do a solve at the same time and see what we think about it, okay? So this is another magnetic uh, Mega Mix. This is the um, Shang Show Mr. M. They have this bit of a weird Mr. M series going on. This is a weird looking Mega Mix. It looks like the little edges are just like unusually tall. It's very noisy. But it's so amazing. Oh, that's a weird feel. I don't actually know what I think about it. I love it. It's so noisy and it's so small and it has literally like no grip. Like it has no ridges, no indentations, no nothing. It's like totally smooth on every single side. But I Let's just scramble each other's and then we'll we'll give it a solve. It looks very pretty when it's scrambled, I will say. So cute, I but love it. But this guy just feels so much more stable. The YJ Yufu or Yuhu. Yuhu. <laughs> Stop it. Yuhu. Three, two, one, go. That is a beautiful Mega Minx. It really is quite nice. Eventually. It's this big. I love it. I hate to say you're right, but this is actually growing on me. I really didn't think I would like something with like zero ridges. It's just, it actually looks so cute. But this guy is still so nice. Okay, here's the deal. I think I would actually give this an A. Maybe a B. What would you give that? Full on A. What? Right at the top. It's just so noisy. Okay, they both get an A. The Mr. M and the Yuhu. YJ, this is your fault. Uh, let's do some of the Galaxy Mega Minxes. So this is the Galaxy V2M. This guy has been around for a long time, actually. It's like a lot of people have um, used this for a long time and even broken records with it. How do you open it? So we've got two of the same one. They're both magnetic. Uh, and I've got one that's stickerless. And Ola, I think, has one that's stickered? What? Oh, ridges. mine has ridges. Here are the two Galaxy Mega Minxes side by side. Not only does this guy not have ridges, it's actually slightly concave. It's quite interesting. I've got you a present now. Oh, thank you. A new Mega Minx. A new Mega Minx. <laughs> um, this guy is a lot smaller than the other Mega Minxes that we've used. Yeah, it's actually like significantly smaller. And oh, uh, it's okay. But that's just the one with ridges. How does yours feel? Not that good. The concave Mega Minx is quite unusual to see. It's funny, I used to think that I really like Mega Minxes with like ridges and stuff, but I'm finding these smoother ones actually all quite good. I think I've got a letter. You got one too? Yeah, I've got one. Let's start with the Galaxy V2M, the one with ridges. You ready? Three, two, one, go. D. Yeah, cool, I agreement. Uh, and the one without ridges? Three, two, one, go. C. Ooh, okay. You give this all the way up to a B. Yeah, interesting. So with ridges, unfortunately, gets a D. And without ridges, gets a BC. Next, we have the T T Hang S. That's a bit of a hard thing to say. This is a, a budget Mega Minx as well. I don't believe it's magnetic. And it is a big boy. That is big. That's a really, really big cube. Yeah, okay. It's pretty much what I thought it would be. I'm sorry, T Hang S. But we have just agreed that we are giving you a very special, fantastic F. Ching boy! Yoo-hoo! This gets an F because it's terrible! It gets a fantastic! We have got five Mega Minxes left. Oh my goodness, look how many we've unboxed. That is actually crazy. Let's do two by Moyu. 
Ta da! Moyu. This guy actually is a bit of ancient history. This is the Moyu like Aohun Megaminx, which is a little bit old. It's a bit of a classic Megaminx, but it's not actually for sale anymore. And this guy is the Worm, the WRM. So this guy just came out recently uh, in 2020. Uh, it's a magnetic mega mix, so I have a feeling that it's gonna be a little bit better than this guy. Let's start with the old one first. Oh, that's all there is to it. Okay, that was a bit disappointing considering how pretty the outside looks. Cause it's all like red and shiny and stuff. It's the only mega mix that's like white uh, and stickered. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I've already got a letter for it. Are you ready? Three, two, one. F. F. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Hey, it's not actually currently for sale. It's not like, not like you can go out and buy it, so. But yeah, if you do see it, <laughs> don't buy it. So this is the WRM. A lot of people were very, very excited about this cube um, coming out, but uh, yeah, reception has been a little bit mixed. Whoa, that looks so unusual. This is also very small compared to the other Mega Minxes. It's also quite light. They are very weak magnets. This Mega Minx has very pronounced ridges, like, it really, really stands out. You got that up? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. C. C. Mm. It's very sad to be giving a magnetic cube a C, especially one that just came out so recently. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Moyu gave this a good hard swing and they missed. I mean, hey, at least you didn't get an F. So, I mean, that's improvement from an F to a C. Yeah. Yeah, like you just passed. So it's a little bit hard to see, but we've got the Alhoon down the bottom and the worm is right there. The C tier is becoming a bit of a crowded space. Three Mega Minxes to go. Which one do you want to do first? Let's try this gun one. Sure. This is the only one that's wrapped in plastic. Not as environmentally friendly as Uncle Tingman would say. Who's Uncle Tingman? Here it is. Are you ready? Oh, oh that's right. I forgot. This is the one that comes in the ball. The gun Mega Minx has its own case and so many ways to customize it. As you can see here, it has another soft case as well. That's crazy. And it's got all these extra springs and nuts. Uh, it's Garn's proprietary GES system, uh, which they use to just like change the tension and you can just, yeah, customize it to your heart's delight. It's so light. It's just like, it's the so Megamix, light. It turns better than the A and the A, they were amazing. It's price is astronomical as well. Like you can probably buy like, four or five or six of the cheaper like Mega Minxes here with the cost of this. But when, if you're talking about quality, it is, it's just really good. I've always used the Garn brand for like my main three by threes, uh, but Ola hasn't. She isn't as much of like a Garn fan as I am. But when it comes to the Mega Minx, I like it. it is very, very good. It actually doesn't feel right to put it there. I think we need another tier. Yes. And you know what? I thought this very moment was going to happen and so, I prepared an S tier. Wait. Oh yeah. No, it's backwards, not upside down. Oh. Don't worry, you tried your hardest bit. Daddy doesn't know how to write letter S. I do know how to write the letter S, I just stuck it on the wrong way. Daddy needs to go back to prep. Let's create a special S tier just for this. And this guy gets its own S tier. It's a little bit lonely up there, but we do have two more to go. And these guys might maybe join the gun up there as well. Why does it say MGC5? It's like the Mega Minx. Five Mega Minx. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. It is five sided, it's so maybe pentagon. that's why. Bit big. It's got oh. big ridges. It corner twists quite easily. But you know, it's got fairly decent corner cutting. Also, YJ's MGC lineup, like their boxes are just like. Whew. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. Whoever's in the box design department, give that person a raise. Have you got a tier for it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. B. A. Ooh. Really? You put it out all the way up in A. I was comparing it with this and they're quite similar. I actually think they're pretty close to those um, A tier cubes as well. But I don't know, something about those are a bit better. Those were more recent as well. This guy's been out for a few years now. Okay, A, B. Ooh, there you go, Ting Boy, give it a nice A, B. Beautiful. And lucky last, it's the Dion V2. The latest Mega Minx to come out. And here it is. Ooh. I'm quite excited about oh, the wow, Dion because... It comes with... Hey, wow. Nice. So this guy's gonna come with quite a few accessories as well. Nice, a pretty cool little case. Extra springs and a cool screwdriver. Well, Ola, what do you think of the world's newest Mega Minx? I like this. 
I like how it's got gold on this one. Yeah, it's got a pretty logo actually. It's it's a pretty nice touch. This is very light. Oh my goodness, it almost feels lighter, lighter than the gun. <gasps> like it's pretty much as light as the gun. And that's very light. Oh wow, 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 wow. It's like the smallest Mega Minx out of all that we have. It almost feels like a Mega Minx you could do like OH Mega Minx with, which I don't think I've ever tried before. I'm gonna do a really quick solve with this. Moments later. Wow. You ready? Three, two, one. A. Ace. Ace. S. Wait, wait, wait. You wanna put this in that special S tier? Really? But, well, like, you actually think it's as good as this? What? I'm gonna put it over here! But it, okay, hey, look, I, I agree with you. It actually is better than these guys. What if we put it in between the A and the S? Wow. Um, Maybe yeah. Not. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. These are the kinds of things you can do when you're not doing this on a computer. And these are our 15 Mega Minxes. Hats off to all the companies who made these Mega Minxes. You worked very hard. Really, really sorry if we gave you like an F, an E, or a D, but. Uh, do better next time. But our top five Mega Minxes in order, rank number five with the A, B tier, is the MGC Mega Minx. Tied for the third place is Mr. M and the YJ Yoohoo. Yoohoo. Uh, in second place is the new kid on the block, the Diane Mega Minx V2M. Unbelievably light. Like, what am I even holding? It's crazy. And first place, it was unanimous. We both agree. Actually, does Ting Boy agree? Ting Boy, do you like this Mega Man? Please say yes. Yes. Woo! Alright, this will cost you the price of like half of all these Mega Mixes combined though. So if you don't want to get that guy, get any of these other ones like in the A tier. If you want to watch more unboxing, check out these videos. All of these puzzles can be bought from Daily Puzzles. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Dailypuzzles.com.au And subscribe to Lego Mario! No, what are you talking about?